Jacob Markstrom making his season debut, his first NHL start since April of 2014, going to try to help the Canucks beat the Sharks. But before this one started, British Columbia native Steve Nash is honored. He drops the ceremonial faceoff. Okay, early first. Canucks, they turn it over. Chris Tierney is going to beat Markstrom. That's the Sharks' first shot of the game. That is what we call not a very good start. 4.15 after that, Matt Irwin shot off the glass, bounces out in front, then Melko Carlson from his stomach somehow slides it home, and that is the second shot of the game for the Sharks. Still not a very good start. And 27 seconds later, oh my God. San Jose the other way, Couture drops, Nieto. There's a save, they score on the rebound. Couture, a big rebound off Markstrom, who's off to a rocky start, and that's gonna be it for him. Eddie Lack coming into the game as the Sharks go up 3-0. That is unfortunate. Three goals on four shots. Willie Desjardins, try to console the young man. It's 3-0 through one, early second. Knox looking to answer. Daniel Sedin's gonna get it over to Henrik on the power play and he buries, that's Henrik's 900th career NHL point. The Canucks are within two. Mid-second, Daniel walks out front, spins, goes back door for Henrik, he pots his second of the period and Vancouver all of a sudden, they are now within one, but just 2.33 later. Daniel's gonna get stripped by Patrick Marlowe. He feeds Matt Nieto who beats Lack up high. Four two Sharks at that point. They'd go on to add two empty netters in the third to win this one big time. 6-2 your final. Now back to Henrik Sedin. At 1,072 games, he becomes the third fastest Swedish player to reach 900 career points behind Matt Sundin and Daniel Offertson. Meanwhile, the Canucks, they have now lost seven games in a row at home to San Jose, including the playoffs.